it was one of those funny things because I've always been a bit of an adventurer in terms of you know trying new physical or spiritual kind of journeys and I'm quite open to that sort of stuff I got brought up in a household my mum is you know she's very into meditation and personal growth so I was around that but there was a time a few years ago where I just felt like I wanted to really challenge myself in that regard. I was in Australia and my sister's boyfriend at the time, a guy called Matt, uh, quite an unlikely messenger, but he, uh, he was, he'd just done Path of Love. And I think I was maybe lamenting about some guy or something. And he was like, well, Joe, I think you need to do the Path of Love. He was very kind of, you know, strong about it. It did change things a bit, you know, it led me to shift my career um, and it led me to maybe shift some of my behavior patterns and my kind of tribal groups that I was in or the places I was more drawn to, definitely. The career stuff, well I was an actress for nine years in London and I did some cool stuff. I mean I had periods where I was not working and kind of, but I also got to do some, some awesome things in film and television and theater. I had some great opportunities. And it was a nice job for me, but pretty much after I did Path of Love, it became really clear to me that I wasn't necessarily very well suited to a lot of aspects of being an actor. The actual performance stuff I loved when you're alive with it and sort of 5% of being on stage and being kind of in this world was magic. But all the other stuff, all of the auditions and the, and the hustling, and I'm kind of quite a sensitive, big hearted kind of person. And I just realized, I was like, God, I, I like myself a bit too much to be putting myself through this. So I started studying holistic nutrition and I started a blog about food and eating and health, but in a slightly more irreverent way, maybe than what I was reading at the time. Uh, and from there, I was picked up by a creative agency as a food stylist. So uh, someone who's a food stylist creates the food and it's sort of like a makeup artist for food. So it's this odd job that I never imagined I would be doing, but it's very aesthetic and there's lots of problem solving and, and I enjoy it. So that was one thing that came out of that period and then I still do voiceovers, so children's cartoons and video games. But it's great because I get to sit behind a microphone and play and be all kinds of different people and not bound by how I look or how I'm sort of seen, which is really fun. Yeah. The Path of Love really welcomed me to the human race for the first time. It's an intense yeah. process. It's residential and it's very much constantly pushing against your safety barriers, you know. Um, it's disruptive. It's a disruptive process. And I think if anyone wanted to do it, if you were looking to kind of keep the water still and not shake up you know, the stagnant water inside of you, then I wouldn't do Path of Love because it does, it, it shakes everything up and it brings all the murky stuff up to the top for you to kind of work with. Um, and I think other, other work I've done has been very much about sort of calming and soothing. And there is that element. There's a very loving, safe environment that they create there, you know, full of compassion and, and care and love. And it's a really beautiful space, but it's also, quite a challenging one and deliberately so you know it's it's about sharing and showing stuff that you maybe perhaps have never shown or shared with anyone before and you're in such a safe space to do it yeah. path of love really taught me how to be with other people it also taught me how to be with myself and how to be with some kind of divinity whatever that means to you but the big piece was about other people because I've done a lot of meditation and a lot of personal work and individual work the path of love is is very it gives you so much opportunity to exercise what it's like to be truly seen by people as a whole person not just the good bits or the kind of palatable bits but really all of it and um, I found that I was able to really stay with people you know I was always the sort of person who would sort of be chatting and lovely and but then I'd kind of look away and it would be something that I would control and after Path of Love I was much more comfortable being present with other people so that was huge yeah